Yeah, that's the one that where you just go live oh. automatically, but we should be hitting very soon. And we are excellent closer, connection. Closer than I want to be to him, but I can be this way. And we're live. Everybody, welcome we're, to we're our live. our live podcast. Our if live you're listening podcast. to this on iTunes or Spotify or any of those others, we're not live. But if you are listening to us on YouTube, we're live. We're live April 15th. So here's a thing that uh, we need to say as well. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> there are lots of people who uh, watch our videos and subs and uh, don't subscribe. So It really That's hurts up. our feelings, I mean, at the end of the day. It does hurt our feelings. And uh, we do have a place in the shop where we can uh, air our grievances one with another. In mostly, front of one of the chickens? Mostly just crying, yeah. This chicken... Which one is that? That's Bob Marley. This one. Oh, Matthew the chicken's not even up here. Yeah, Matthew's downstairs holding down the fort. Yeah. Carlitos over my shoulder here. Carlitos soft. Yeah. He's He doesn't do much. He doesn't do much. He's just... He's got a soft, gentle touch about him. He doesn't need to be Yeah, hard. I know. Just yeah. your standard cock on a shelf. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. What? No and we'll st on that note, we'll start our what? podcast. That's what I call this hat. He means a rooster. Yeah, that's yeah. the same thing. Oh, yeah, you're, you've got the, yeah. the you put your rooster chicken rooster, rooster hat. You, I do have my rooster hat on. Did you have so, a red hat on earlier? No, that was yesterday. I have, I think, four hats now with roosters on mm. them. And just so you know, we will get asked this. This hat, I have like a size eight or eight and a quarter head. In new era sizing. Really? I've never heard that before. And I... No. <laughs> you, you've heard me say no, that because wait. everybody... I I'm, have a size 8. Listen, head. this is a complex I have, and I've had to explain it. I'm a trying to get it out. To. I'm trying to get it out on video so I don't have to repeat it. I can just say, look, oh, listen like to the, the first... Oh, I this. You're not going to repeat it anymore? Oh, no, I will. <laughs> listen. Every time a salesman comes into this shop with yeah. hats... Oh, yeah. let me put it on almost the biggest setting and see if it fits me. <laughs> yeah, it goes like this. Anyway, it is a big melon. Thanks, <laughs> uh, Flyer037. But I have to make my own hats. I'm not even going to tell the story now. Okay. I hate you all. But we do need A&W Zero Sugar, so no, we bring us that. some uh, beverages. No, not those. Anyway, this is episode... <laughs> This isn't episode 21, is it? Two. Is it episode I don't 21? know. I've 22. YouTube no longer lets me edit the Drive thing prior. Oh, really? Well, maybe I'll, we'll be I'll edit it maybe as we talk. This is episode 21A. We're yep. going to talk about like, uh, oh, we're not talking about dry fly fishing either. But uh, we're going to talk about um, just kind of new gear or some of the new products that are out there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, dial up some questions. But we're going to talk just kind of about maybe new products, but also some of the stuff that we've been using lately. I think that every year we kind of change um, how we fish a little bit. Uh, we're always dialing in new rigs, new flies, new leader setups. That's been a big one, that kind of stuff. So anyway... That's kind of what we're going to do, right? Title is now edited. Yes. New fly fishing and tying product Q&A. Q stands for question. A stands for answer. Someone's going to ask that too, Lance. We'll, have, like that. we'll have some questions, not many answers. <clears throat> All right. So shoot in your questions on the old YouTube. There. I said my piece. I'm done. Yeah. And we got Brig here again. Brig. Brig. You're going to Instagram live us to promote. We need to promote. We need to promote. But and he could also, I guess, take questions there. Or we want to push questions to you. He can only. Briggs free guy. He can do yeah. whatever. Brig, yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Brig, don't let him get away with that. You're not free. You're very expensive. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to make my chair not make noises. That's on the Brigham setting. It's on the Brigham setting. Well. What are we going to talk about first? Fishing gear, tying gear, all of the above. We yeah. Can't, we can't I mean, talk about, about all of the above first. So 
Let's uh, let's talk about the big ones, kind of rods, reels, waders, and boots. I think to kick off because we won't have any of those here to show you. Right. Um, probably <clears throat> the biggest launch this year so far on that side of things would be the uh, Sims flyweight Sims lineup. Flyweight lineup. So those feature a cool kind of stretchable. Gore-Tex on portions of the the waders. Uh, also comes with a what's the name again? Five eleven. Five eleven tactical grid system. Grid system mm -hmm. where they have modular uh, doodads like uh, little pouches and that sort of thing that will hook on to your wader area and uh, they're lightweight kind of. So, so they are Gore-Tex. They're going to be kind of in your same range as the old uh, G3s as far as price goes. Uh, lighter weight. They're kind of envisioned more as a packable, lighter weight weighter. So it may not, if you guys have got the G4s, it's probably not going to replace those. But um, anyway, they're... So 549 is the price, right? G3. Yeah, I think, I think that's about right. But you've got... You've got the thicker Gore-Tex from the knee down, and then they have really cool gravel guards as well. They're they're a lighter weight neoprene gravel guard. I think I'm going to have to get a pair of those. Yeah, we Do will. You think they make them in like a 4XL no. extra husky? No, that's no? a negatory hound dog. Dang it! All right, Sims, <laughs> dear Sims, I write you this letter. Although they do make, they, yeah. they do cover your bases on. They actually have a custom shop, so if you need a size in waders, yes. you can contact them. Right. Well, and they're U.S. made waders. They are. Yeah. They're very good. Good waders um, and a good company. So they have a full lineup of, of stuff as well. Did you guys talk about the boots? I kind of tuned out for a second. Oh, no. no the no the boots, boots I've, uh, I've had the boots for about a year. They came out last summer. They redid them, though. Oh, even yeah. beyond those ones. So I, I was looking at some of the some of the boots uh, as far as uh, the the durability of those boots. They've changed them a little bit up on the upper. So okay, yeah. So they made them a little bit tougher. With the idea there uh, being <clears throat> lightweight boots, good for hiking. So if you like to even wet wade and go distances with your uh, boots, it's a good way to go. I've used them more. Well, we did. I think one extended walk slash hike that they were good for. Um, but also on float tubes. It's oh, kind of yeah. nice because smaller, smaller easier. Anything. Yeah, you don't have much to trip over. So Makes those sense. were very good. Um, yeah, so, and I think uh, that combo of a good packable wader and the boots will be pretty good and it's sims quality too i mean uh, the, that coupled with the 511 tactical yeah collab for the molly system if you know 511 tactical they make awesome gear as well so i'm kind of stoked on those now, now we're gonna have to get some i think they even make a size small enough for brig brig so. was wiggling his finger said hey we're on instagram now at the same time join us over on facebook or <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. YouTube Live. We are on. Catch the whole kit caboodle over here. Did let's I don't want to like throw a kink in this, but did we nail the audio? I don't know. From from the from the first from the outgo. All I know is the audio is recording for Brandon to uh pull <laughs> from our podcast. So excellent. We've got like Joe Rogan level audio components now, guys. Come on. I also have Joe Rogan level fitness. If you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. The make, old dad joke: You've been fitting this in your mouth. Is that? Yeah, it's zero sugar, bro. Zero it's like drinking sugar. water. Your body doesn't even know the difference. Still makes insulin. The no, same. it doesn't. Fake sugar. No, it doesn't. I have heard Not that. A, yeah. From Vernal, we don't do it that way. Oh, from Vernal, nobody does. So, all right. Um, we're talking about uh, new products, so we waders and boots. I mean, obviously the flyweight stuff from Sims is really cool. Um, Corkers has a new River Ops. Oh, the River boots. Ops boot from Corkers. Yep. So those have been uh, received well. We do have them in stock now. It's, it was a little bit of a delay, and uh, so they are available now. Um, I don't like 
as far as anything in particular about those ones, I mean, they're they're a, they're more, a fully synthetic upper. Yeah, so. yeah, they're supposed to be a lot more durable. Um, they look tough. Yeah. They look like you're going to go out and tactically catch a bunch of fish with marvelous <laughs> hooks right in the face. So that's good. Um, rods. Oh, yeah. Um, let's talk about rods. Th- we we just uh, were excited that we're a Winston dealer now. Yeah. So I think we have all the big big rod companies now. And uh, we we had the, the Winston reps here. We, we cast the uh, Air 2 and the Pure. I I liked them both. Yep. So the Air 2 is like brand new. Brand, brand new, right? We yes. got a few of them. They already sold out. They came in and they were gone within a few days. So, yeah. And uh, I guess as a side note, uh, there's been delays on shipments of a number of products, uh, including waders and boots. <clears throat> Lots of backlogs on rods, um, maybe not so much on reels. So, yeah, if you're looking for some of the new stuff, um, I'm trying to think. Most of the v- most of the uh, manufacturers are probably focusing more, so it's easier to get to the, like a nine foot five weight centric right now than maybe uh, a twelve weight centric. Yeah, yeah. so they're they're it. focusing on the newer stuff and the core the core models there. So, but yeah, speaking of new rods, we talked about the Air Two. Um, if you've never fished a Winston, I I fished them a couple times, not not a ton. Uh, and we cast them out in the parking lot, and I was impressed with the air too. I limited out, caught a bunch of fish out there, a bunch of trash. Boom, boom, carp. boom. You know, threw a couple hundred twenty foot bombs <laughs> over the mountains. Mm-hmm. But anyway, right. no, they were nice though. Yeah, very smooth. Kind of more for the the angler that likes a maybe not super slow, but a little bit softer rod. Still got plenty of power, but it's just buttery smooth, and you don't. It's a rod you don't want to hit real hard, a rod that you want to just kind of have a relaxed stroke. They were nice and smooth through some tight loops at yeah. most fishable distances. Pretty smooth. I've felt if uh, you've never done Winston before, it would be a good time if you uh, want to get into the Winston game. They've done a good job with that rod. That being said, I mean, a lot of people ask, well, what should I get, a Sage, a Scott, a Winston, an Orvis? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like every, every company has an awesome rod in that price range you know so hard to go wrong anyway yep. uh centric is kind of newer uh, probably a little bit more difficult to get those right now but uh, they're they're nice rods we've fished and, and cast those as well um, they've been out since what, late fall somewhere in there yeah, they might as well be brand new though. They're going to be kind of unobtainium for a little while. Yep. Well, not not necessarily. We we had what three or four of them. We we've left sold through you. most yeah. of the ones we've had. So. We've got some more on the way, but uh, yeah, they've been yeah. in high demand. Uh, pretty versatile rod, I'd say. Yeah, as far as reels go, um, what am I? What's new to me that I'm fishing? I've, I've been fishing that ESN reel. A fair bit. Oh, yeah. I do fish it on a Thomas and Thomas contact, and they don't catch on fire when I put them together. They uh, the cr- streams don't cross, so your uh, yep. universe doesn't end. Yeah, it's a full frame reel, so the line won't slip out between the frame and the spool. So that's cool. That's kind of the the idea, and it's an adjustable weight system. We did a video on that a while back. Um, Bauer. Bauer. Yeah, those are so nice. Yeah, Bauer reels. Bauer. Um, they. What is it? RVR. RVR. The RVR has like a six axis CNC machine or something. I'm just going off the videos that I watched on that. <laughs> Cheech all, oversaw the manufacturing. All, all I know is I, I get one of those in my hand and they're just mega, mega smooth. So, yeah. And I mean, they're a little higher end reel, but uh, for sure. And, yeah, I, mean, and I, I think as a caveat, it, it, before we get the, well, my $30 Walmart rod catches fish just the same. And yep, we'll. That's that's true. You're going to catch gear or f- fish on all sorts of gear. We're not saying anything's better or worse than anything else. Uh, some people like the newer gear or the stuff that may cost more. Not a, not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're talking about like super high end stuff. And here's here's what you have to step back and think about is 
it might make sense for you to to save up your pennies and, and buy like a three hundred dollar reel and a, or a three hundred dollar rod and a hundred dollar reel and a fifty dollar fly line, and you're going to be able to go out and catch plenty of fish like that. But that same you know that same three hundred dollars in your pocket might be a thousand dollars in someone else's pocket. So, yeah. and that some sometimes guys just want all the fancy new gear. So we I always we say don't hate we don't we are equal opportunity rod hawkers rod and hawkers so you know we we try to carry what our customers want which runs the gamut so that's kind of how we roll um jeff has asked about the sage sense uh lance you haven't have you fished that one mm-hmm. okay of course so, he has well i it, it's barely it was barely released a couple days ago but do you have any yeah, it's a Generation Five technology, so it's uh, the same technology that the Z-axis used when mm. you know when it came out. Same technology that the Sonic is currently using. Uh, it's a little bit wider. You know, he's asking how it differs from the ESN. It's different than the ESN, and it's a different fiber. Yeah, it's a wider blank technology. It has no glass in the in it for hoop strength. Uh, that's part of what Generation Five technology was or is. Uh, so you know it's a value price rod. I think it's in the five range. I'd yeah, five seventy five, five fifty, something like that. Yeah, it's kind of your mid range. Uh, it's a great rod for the money. It's not as light. It's not as quick recovery as the ESN, but it's a lot less money. Yeah. Uh, you know, so for somebody that wants a more mid price value price rod, it's going to be a standout for sure. Uh, it has a nice down locking seat. They've adjusted the the uh, eyelets to be a little closer to the handle to reduce some sag uh it, it's a it's a neat rod for sure yep. it's it's not designed to outperform the esn it's just designed to be a a more value priced rod yep excellent so there you go and what what's the time frame on those like next little while or yeah i'd say in a week or so yeah, they're supposed possibly. to be pretty quick we have them on order so hopefully yep. it'll be yeah. pretty fast so hopefully yep real soon um, get the lamps and light speed and whiskey in the shop. We did, and we sold them all. We're yeah. waiting to get more. And yeah, they those new light speeds are really cool. They are. So the way to get notified usually when we get something new in the shop, Brig and I stand by the door waiting for the mailman to come, and we take <laughs> all the boxes and we tear them open and we look at them. Brig usually jumps in the box a few times because he fits in there. Pops the uh, air pocket cushions. <laughs> yeah. But the reason I'm saying this is if you follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, and, and stuff like that, that's probably the best way to fig- to find out when we get the fancy new stuff in stock. Also, if you go to Facebook, the group Fly Tying with Uncle Cheech, we do a lot of uh, notifications and, and announcements on new stuff over there too. Yep, so we share, and then if there is like the, for instance, the light speeds in Whiskey, if you go to our website, did you just say sign up for the notification on the website? Not on. You're just saying social media. That's for new stuff that we don't have. But if if it's something that we're just out of stock, or even new stuff like the sense, oh yeah, which is new but we don't have it yet, you can sign up for the notification on our website, and it will uh, shoot you a fancy little email when they hit our dock slash yeah. door. And make sure you open that email and use it to uh, buy stuff. So yep. yeah. Anyway, as far as uh, fly lines, though, um, one of our favorite tapers lately has been the Scientific Angler's Infinity Taper, which is kind of a it's a half size heavy fly line that is a, a smoother half size heavy. So it, it's a very versatile fly line that you can use for anything from small bugs to you know bigger streamers, that kind of stuff. But they used to only make it in the Amplitude series, which is uh, their top of the line. So now they make it in Mastery. So instead of paying 130 or 100, right. it's 80 89. bucks. 80, 79. 79, 79 yep. bucks. 99. So yep. With, this... Without the AST Plus, just yep, the AST It's coding. no plus. The AST coding, so, which is still an awesome, really awesome It's a good value, coding. yep. Yeah, I... I uh, I would not mind if if I had to fish a hundred days in a row with this, as long as there were big fishy. Drinks. And that one is yeah, it's like pretty big deal because that Infinity Taper uh, is a great taper. <clears throat> it it's kind of the jack of all trades taper. It's not necessarily just a dry fly taper. It's also got some guts to 
throw turn over bigger flies and bigger nymph frigs or whatever but for the longest time up until now it was only available on the higher end lines like cheech said might need to be our next podcast topic is fly line tapers and fly line cores and different designs yeah that's that's a lot to get into for Mm -hmm. sure man i i didn't really think much about it because i've been fishing like the good sa lines for several years now and i got a spool sent to me that had some random six weight floating line and we were out fishing dry flies on the boat i think you guys both remember or maybe i don't know if you were with us lance but i ended up tearing that thing off that rod i I was i was so mad i was having a diva (laughs) moment and then i put one of my old trusty lines on there so i mean a a fly line a lot of times even if you have like a an entry level rod and reel if you put a nice fly line on that it's going to make a huge difference new life for sure yeah so anyway yeah we like fly lines and especially the scientific anglers mastery series infinity taper and then also to mention rio uh, does have their whole new technology slick cast which goes across all of their um line models at least on the the elite and premieres yeah um so a more durable slicker coating to uh, shoot better won't hopefully won't pick up as much dirt and crack and that sort of thing so um what else in lines we have some new airflow lines. Oh, um, yeah. Some floating. We have some, uh, they do make a midge tip, right? Mm-hmm. We have the midge tips, right? We have some of their mini tips. The mini that. tips, yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of that, I've, so FNF Ooh, also yeah. has some really good lines. They are from the UK. Uh, we, we have them in stock. They're not a huge name on fly lines, but uh, if you know the, the British are ninjas when it comes to stillwater fishing and their lines they're very um wow what's a good word like they're very specific specific yeah they um, like dial it in on lines and so the f and f lines have some different midge tip style ones and then uh, what's the coronamid or the buzzer buzzer lock lock up up. yeah it's like a floating line and then a very short section of an aggressive sink tip to help your leader get vertical yeah so really cool so anyway we have a whole bunch of different new fly lines out there um if you haven't replaced your fly line for a few years (laughs) give it a check there's probably cracks in it yeah we do have people come in on the shop a lot of times and we ask you know how when they're wanting to determine whether to replace their line and ask them how long it's been on the reel and you know 20 years a long time too long Uh, lines are going to break down the technology in the line certainly improved and you know especially in the last five years let's say um worst case clean your line yeah i mean that goes a long way but however here here are some words of wisdom getting closer to fish is more important than slicker line yes and no what if the fish don't let you get any closer than you are then you got a cast yeah cast yeah (laughs) yep we did get some. Uh, we have the new Cortland Euro line in the chartreuse color. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. A cool one. And then we also added the peach and the clear camo. I believe. Yep, from Cortland. Yeah, the peach four 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 classic. I spooled, I spooled one of those up the other day. Yeah, they're pretty. Well, sweet. those have been yeah. selling. Yeah, those peach. Yeah, I mean, it's a classic. Everybody knows that one. Everybody loves that one. I'm thinking about getting one of those on like one of my old. I have a really slow four weight that needs yeah. more of a classic line. It's just a mind game, you know? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so fly lines are good. There are there are also some new uh, leaders and tippets out there. I think uh, Umpqua is making a tippet for just about every application. Or a, <laughs> and a, leader. A leader yeah. For about every application you could think of. Our leader wall is growing by the day, it seems. Um so if you're if you're picky about leaders, chances are we have something that's gonna fit you there. And then there, there are all kinds of new fluorocarbons and nylons, stuff like that. What are you fishing nowadays, Lancer? For tippets? Yeah, for tippet. Umqua, Trout Hunter, SA. The new SA stuff. Which SA is it? Do you uh, remember? They're, uh, what do they call that stuff? Absolute fluorocarbon. Absolute trout or just yeah. absolute fluorocarbon. Either of those have been great. Yeah, really strong stuff. I've actually been fishing the new... Rio, what is it? Floroflex Strong. Strong, yeah. That's yeah, the I've, new 
upper end yeah. fluorocarbon. So they've got two levels of fluorocarbon yeah. as far as price goes. I like that. I fish a lot of the uh, good old Foley Mill Masterclass. That's probably my go-to. But the the one I've been playing with lately is that Rio. So yeah. no complaints. Yep. It's also good to have uh, just like refreshing your fly lines to refresh your leaders and tippets. Right. You know, that stuff doesn't just stay in the same state in your vest for five years. Decades. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's always good to keep an eye on those things. The, the things that connect you to the fish. you got to make the sure they're The most important top things. Notch. That and uh, look in your fly box and make sure that your uh, your flies aren't all rusted out. Or, the, or, or if you've tied a bunch of flies like half a side of a box with the chewy uv chewy skin <laughs> make sure those uh, flies actually have any chewy skin left on them or squirmies same same <laughs> type of deal yep as far as breaks down as far as new flies out oh uh, yes. we have some awesome Good new topic. flies what what do you have out on the market okay lance Answer drum roll new. we know the one we've been waiting for the longest time. The one we've been waiting for, the Crown Mid Frenchie. There you go. Yes, the Silver Lancer, as we all know it. Crown Mid Frenchie. It is in the <laughs> shop. It's on the li- it's on our online store, but so good. Yeah, good, good Crown Mid. Staple. It's yeah, seriously is. I think it's the standard by which Crown Mids are are measured, and uh, Umpqua Vernal measured. 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 At least I don't say regular. Regular. <laughs> regular. <laughs> Whatever, Mister. S- Semi seal. <laughs> Semi seal. Go on, anyway. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Yeah. You're measuring so, something. Yeah. <laughs> I, what I was saying is Silver Lancer sucks, <laughs> and you only should use it if you suck at fishing and you need help. Well, sign <laughs> no. me up. No, it's tied on a really cool hook from, from Umpqua called the UC or the XC290. XC 290. 290. Yeah. Um, which has a, a really long spear. It's a very uh, durable hook, it's kind of a thicker wire. And uh, it's actually a great hook to tie like Euro stuff with uh, with slotted beads and stuff. Yep. So it's a it's a really really cool good hook. hook. For sure. Yeah. So there's that one. Um, we've done some videos on the Antonio's. Where we just did the one video on the Antonio's midge, but there's also the Antonio's <laughs> blue winged olive and adult and emerger. That's that little split wing CDC thinger. I caught some fish on that today. Yeah. So. Or a fly similar to that. There's a that's just kind of a, a general idea as far as yeah, a fly like goes. a style. Um, what else? We we did get uh, Tasmanian devils. Yeah, and, that's a big one. Those yeah. have been going nuts on uh, selling. And the hustler. And, and then the, Josh Graffin's the hustler. hustler. It's a good one. Uh, what else is on there? New flies, huh? Soft tackle S- rainbow warriors. Oh yeah, CDC, CDC, soft, CDC tackle soft tackle. Warriors. Yeah. Purple darts we've had most of the year, I think, but they're yep, still new-ish. Cool. Yep, a lot of the Rosas line from Fulling Mill. Oh, yeah. So mm-hmm. we're if you haven't looked at our fly selection lately, like if you're a fly buyer, um, we have a, a huge selection. It should be easier and easier to find stuff on our website too. Uh, we've we've really tried to dial in the 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 filter feature yeah. on the site. So. You can go on there, you can filter for jigs, you can filter for tungsten, you can filter for all different types of stuff. So anyway, lots lots of cool new flies out there, which leads us to what? Fly tying? Yeah, we can talk about fly tying. Um, as normal, Hairline has come out with a lot of uh, fun new products. They kind of do that throughout the year, but... Um, We've we've added some of the latest stuff. Um, we've got someone says we need wood duck. Come on, fellas, <laughs> listen. What we need is somebody to go out and kill us a we bunch need wood duck. of we wood order duck it every single week. No yeah, doubt. and I order fifty to a hundred every we order time. Every week, just yeah. nobody has any to get. Yep. We will get it. Yeah. It's available. I promise. If there's something that we've been out of for a long time, trust me, we would love to carry. Yeah. So. Speaking of new stuff for tying, and we were talking about wood duck, I, I still get a lot of people asking <clears throat> when we're going to have tailing packs, uh, Coq de Leon tailing packs back in stock. Um, so the previous iteration of the tailing packs from Whiting were actually called Coq de Leon tailing packs. Um, and we've worked with Whiting to come out with a new 
it, it's a different part of the chicken, um, and it, they're Coque de Leon uh, roosters, and it comes off their saddle. So you get the same pardo barring, and they, they're um, actually less expensive, and they come in your typical pardo, and then also red and purple and orange and pink blue and blue and those are great so those are called you could search them up on the website your euro nymph tailing pack i think is the the way that you'll find them on there but also great for dry fly tails though oh yeah, yeah for I sure mean, we, we've heard this before that like the the true gallo de, de leon de españa carajo i think you uh -huh. meant gacho so, gacho Gacho de Leon. Gacho. The true Coq de Leon from Spain is stiffer and it has better markings, and it might be. We have that too. We, we do. Yeah. But at, at the same time, like uh, the stiffness of the, the tail on a dry fly might actually hurt your chances of catching fish. No, it's not going to really make that much of a difference. Like it's you're splitting hairs there. So this, this stuff's really, really good for both splitting dries and nymphs. <laughs> splitting chicken hair. What's a chicken hair called? Hackle. A hackle. So we're splitting hackle. So <laughs> anyway, so anyway, that that's a great new product from from Whiting, um, as well as intro saddles. Intro saddles are hot fire fuego. Yeah. Bien calentito. Bien calentito. Translate that means they are very good. Yeah. Uh, so they're. Um, Maybe just to talk a little bit about the intro packs, or you were going to. I didn't yeah, mean to yeah. steal so, your thunder. Yeah, the the intro pack is is one from Whiting Farms where they had a bunch of older, or not older, they had some pro grades that maybe weren't quite as as dialed in as a pro grade. So they, what happens is when they when they grade a pelt, they might find a spot on the on the pelt that is missing some feathers, or they might. Um, have some broken tips or something like that and it when they find that they downgrade those and so a, a pro grade's usually like 50 bucks right dr whiting didn't want to sell these for 50 bucks so he wanted to to uh, introduce those to fly tire uh, for 35 bucks so we ordered a whole bunch of them when we got the first batch in not only are they awesome quality but like the colors are insane very very cool rusty done yeah speckly Speckled. yeah i i i get to name the colors because they're all under the same <laughs> skew so we had some we called speckled done we had one we called rusty grizzly last time yeah so good yeah so very unique anyway i think we're going to get some more of those they they go really really fast and we usually Slash release them with quiet. flash hackle is the dog being a You're naughty dog loud. I think Lance is being louder than the Squatch Dog telling her to be quiet. I was trying to be quiet. Well, you're whispering loud. <laughs> Maybe I was doing that on purpose. Anyway, so Whiting Intro Saddles, they're very cool. What now? What else? Um, we do have the bugger patches from Whiting. Bugger patches. As everybody that's tried to get the bugger packs, your traditional bugger packs that um, Gone. come from saddles. Um. Yeah, they yeah they just don't don't have them, and so again we worked with them to come up with something that would fill that need that they would have a lot of, and um, so yeah they're uh, they're called bugger patches on our website, and we've got them in their your and typical. And they cost ten bucks. Ten bucks. You can't beat that. Good price. Yeah. Hens angel hair in the shop. Hens angel we hair. Have we have angel, angel hair. hair. We just don't have hens brand. Yeah search it up it's basically the same same stuff. same stuff if you're looking to tie the roses violet tail jig just use their hens ice dub number 13 Ooh, dialed in there the straighten oh, it out trim moment. it there you Boom. go telling you what there you go hey philip he said excellent audio without being prompted that Whoa. means the audio must actually be okay today perfect i think brigham sending him messages secretly um Okay, so brand, brand new from Hairline. I'm really stoked about this one. This. It's a reverse mustache. <laughs> no. It's a baby canoe. This is called the, the <laughs> Hairline Feather Prepper. It is a finger canoe. Check it out. We could, like... You could do ollies and... Do ollies. <laughs> kick flip, yeah. twists. Kick flips. Or 
you could just put CDC in it. Um, <laughs> so yeah. it's a piece of foam that has a bunch of slits cut in it, and you can put CDC in there so you can use your fancy CDC tool, whichever flavor you prefer. Or really any soft tackle, right? Yeah. yeah. We just got these in. They should be listed as feather preppers. They are. I can't imagine these are very expensive either. No. So. I think they're uh, like the mini, the junior one's like five something, and that one's like seven ninety, five twenty comes to mind. They're kind of odd prices, but five twenty for that gum piece of foam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell's going on there? There's different types of foam with slits. Cheech yeah. does a good impression of the president of the United States, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? He does? You gotta do it, man. Did he fall on the stairs? <laughs> oh, I'm just telling you, we just all gotta we gotta come together as a country. Me and my, my vice my vice president, Kamala Harris. We okay. I wanna know how Joe Biden would say measure. Well, uh, it just depends on what state you're from is over to Pennsylvania and Delaware where I graduated from college, which is a measure. <laughs> some some measure of uh, it, it it is a that's a whole nother level better than the trump imitation he would do yeah i <laughs> i have to have a hackle on my head to do that one <laughs> like, uh, a ginger colored saddle oh, hackle. oh boy Mo moving right along moving right along <laughs> oh my gosh lance have you played with this one yet nope how do you pronounce this uh, i think it's something to do with lord of the rings Schmeagle. 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 is how I pronounce it. I have no Schmeagle. idea. Well, the S and the H aren't together, which don't say sh. Schman. Schman. Dig. Schman. M. Hansen. Hansen. Okay. This had the most awesome safety manual, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bobbin. The safety manual will say it's stuff like, warning, to prevent injury, please do not use. This is not a toy. <laughs> Only... <laughs> yeah, what's well, a don't pull on both arms at the same time? So holy crap! Um, but they used to make, or they still do make one with a tension knob in the middle of the arms, and uh, it's cool. But this one actually I like a lot better, um, just because it's it's really really simple. I like the way that it spins. So it has cool. some heft to it, and it's less expensive. Spins and the, heft and the atten tension adjustable version. Yeah, it's it's still like. Is it sixty bucks that or fifty? Right. Yeah, it's yeah. probably in that so neighborhood. But it's on the upper upper end of bob and costs. Crazy but expensive. Yeah. So if you're a normal if you're a normal sized human, you use the regular. If you're Lance, you use the midge. So <laughs> Right? I guess. I don't know what normal sized human they're supposed to be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um what what fly tying toys are you playing with nowadays, Lance? Just the same old, same old or just normal sized people stuff? Normal sized people stuff. Yeah, well. You know, people that are five eleven, under two hundred pounds. That's that we call those I, twigs in my country. I can't even see the stuff that's behind my computer. My doctor even measured me the other day. They measured you? Well, it was amazing. You, they're usually on a cattle scale. All right. So not for me. <laughs> I must or be going to the wrong doctor. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I know you can't see this, oh. but this is midge stretch rib. Ooh, that's good stuff. That yeah. is good stuff. So we have it in a bunch of different colors. It comes in a little card. This is enough to tie probably 80 flies, it 100 looks flies. It very little, but it goes a long yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. And this stuff, you can uh, you can stretch it like micro thin. It's, it's super, super strong. Um, but tie little uh, midges and betas and stuff with it. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's thinner than any of the current <clears throat> ones they have out there, and it's uh, got enough uh, body to it that it will s have the segmentation, but uh, not lie 100% flat. So it's a good stuff. There's, um, it, it, It's a newer product, so you probably haven't uh, seen a ton of it, but we'll probably do some tutorials. That is called Hairline Midge Stretch, Stretch Rib. Rib. You need so, to, if you tie midges or betas, you need to get some of that. Yeah. It's good. Midges or betas, maybe even PMDs. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should just say mayflies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because just because it's a betas, you can't tie it in purple or crap like yeah. that. Yeah. So um, here's one that I want to show off. The old purple popsicle is we just needed to leave it in its majesty here on the 
on the desk. <laughs> Somebody asked up. earlier if you uh, go to bed with that. I actually leave it here at the shop, and it's the, the shop vice kind of, yeah. right? But it's way nicer than the, the ratty old master that I have on my vice. <laughs> oh, home. yeah, that piece of crap. You know? Um, <laughs> but this this crank arm is an, is an attachment that you can get for your NZ Master or presentation, and they also make one for the Traveler Series vice. Those are so nice. Yeah, it's awesome. And it, it kind of... Uh, it's got a rotary, or it's got a rotating handle on it, so it's very comfortable to tie with. Do you have one yet, Lance? Of course not. A popsicle? We're holding out for no, different I colors. I got a different color than that. I can't have the same thing as you. It'd be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, embarrassing. But to speaking me. of those, are uh, <clears throat> newish, I guess they're the limited edition Master Vice colors. We should get a couple more trickling in. Blue or purple is the current color. They'll have different colors, hopefully later. Right. What now? She's That's all right. it. She's just chilling. Okay. Well, the Squatch Dog gets restless in podcasting uh, situations. <laughs> um, what else? Fly tying wise, we just got this in. I didn't. What's it called? That's the Russian doll stacker the nesting stacker oh, set stacker within a stacker within a stacker from yeah. the feather bender so let's pull this Green out Street. oh look at this it's got a nice little uh gore-tex pouch in case yeah you need to dip it in the water it will stay <laughs> waterproof velcro enclosure gore full disclosure non-gore-tex it is gore gore-tex check it out <laughs> Microfiber. all right so Whoa, look at this. We have a hair stacker that's cheech size. Okay, so he's pulled out the biggest. That one will probably. Does anybody know that he wears a size eight hat? I had never heard that before. I said eight and a quarter. Oh, eight and a quarter. That. I really didn't. I said eight. I just tricked him into saying that. (laughs) Not listening very well. It's the same way he does fish. That fish was 18 inches. I measured it. And Lance goes over (laughs) there. 10 minutes later, 20 inches. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Did you measure it? Did you measure it? Did you measure it? No, you didn't. Uh Uh-oh. I got under his skin with measure. Oh, gosh. I, I, I will say measure till the day I die. Yeah, it's okay. But I will never say regular. Regular. I don't know why you would. So I don't know either. Doesn't bother me any. Okay, so so we've got three, four, four hair stacker stackers in one. in one. And in case you can't tell your colors, they are different colors. <laughs> yep. So this is the Rasta crew. Then you bring in the big beefer boy for streamers. Yeah, if you right? want to tie some huge deer hair bugs yeah so we literally just barely got these they all have a cap that opens up we got to remember that this is going to be recorded too not everyone can see what we're doing so it's a stacker inside of a stacker inside of a stacker inside of a stacker we might have already said that yeah well i'm not listening to you right now <laughs> yes i'm aware i'm uh shunning you <laughs> uh, shun do it by now. reshun yeah so look the stacker bags are recycled waiters so i was right lance it's gore-tex mm-hmm. gore-tex boom all right so, so those are cool this is yet to be played with i'm trying to make as much noise good job as i can yeah people on the podcast part of this you know what is that well i'll tell you what you go to our website and look it up yeah you can watch this if you're watching this on or listening on spotify or wherever if you go to youtube and look up shop talk podcast episode 22 you'll be able to see what we're talking about so yep which is a good reminder go ahead and mash the thumbs up right now and please subscribe. Now that we have more people watching, yeah. we have to say that again. We get subscriptions. Then the more subscriptions, the more videos we make. And the more videos we make, the more of these podcasts that you can listen to. Yeah, maybe we should hold out. No more podcasts until we get 60,000 <laughs> vol- er, subscribers. Um, that would backfire. It would. So we're not going to do that. Um, this, too. Okay, yeah. Oh. we that is one of the cooler gadgets recently. So this is just the uh, the bottle from this, but it's a CNF head cement 
holder. And I've got it loaded up with the Trout Hunter water-based head cement. Which apparently is incredibly dense, or it's magnetic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. And I don't think people can uh, see um, what happened. If I just watched you pull it off of that thing, it looked really strenuous. There is a magnet on the bottom of the bottle. So you can put it on your vice base or wherever. It actually comes in a little with a little dock that you can snap it down into. So Very that's... Cool. That's part of the uh, that's part of the deal there. And what's all the hullabaloo with that head cement? The head cements are very good. You can put it on. And just get your. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta finish your sentence at least. <laughs> but what I don't want ever to do. <laughs> all right, but anyway, those are those are really cool. I like them because you're not gonna waste head cement. You're it, it's a very airtight option. It's also really user friendly. You can just take the the needle out, one handed operation. You don't have to unscrew a bottle. It's even pretty cheech friendly with that magnet because I don't. Maybe people haven't heard that you are known for spilling my, stuff my all over my life desk. Right now is at stake because we are near because it's a zero Mac. sugar That's A and why. W. This thing's gonna outlast that by ten years. Oh yeah, because <laughs> you never use it. You don't know how to use a computer. Lance. I don't know how. It seems to be working just fine. <laughs> oh my God. Lance, are we going to have a good day tomorrow? No, yeah, because I'm okay. fishing. <laughs> He's oh. fishing, yeah. <laughs> of course. A wonderful we're day. Oh, man. Wonderful. <laughs> good. <laughs> we need to. I'll be measuring fish while you're. You're going to be measuring fish <laughs> in centimeters. <laughs> centimeters. <clears throat> Why do we want to do that? What else is new, Lance? What else is new? Did we cover all the reels we want to cover? What's the newest? What? All oh, packs. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of a lot, lot of, of packs. new packs. Jeez. Yeah, Brig. For those who can't talk, hear him. He's talking in the background, coaching us on packs that we've got. Uh, so, we've got new Sims packs. We've got new Orvis packs. Um, we do have the Umqua Overlook ZS2 Overlook pack. Or After a, a long absence, they made it to our shores and we have a, uh, had a lot of them we have a few left so if you do want those at the time of this recording yeah uh, yeah at the time of this recording at <laughs> some some point those will go out of stock again but yeah probably anyway um, what else on the packs oh yeah we've got those sims uh, lightweight rain jackets yeah the pack light rain jackets we yep. got from sims which we think are kind of one of the I think, in my opinion, one of the better options for our area. You know, if you live yeah. in Seattle where it's raining tons, you're in the Pacific Northwest where it's always wet, you probably want a full feature jacket. Around here, we need rain jackets, you know, right now, a little bit, April, early May, and then every once in a while, and a thunderstorm rolls through in the afternoon in most of the Rocky Mountain West. Yep. So it's a really, it's a Gore-Tex jacket, but it's very small, very light, very packable. So you could stuff it in the back of a chest pack, the back in your boat bag. That way, you don't have the weight and bulk and heft of a full-featured Cortex jacket, but still keeps you dry. Do they make it in it. giant people size? Oh, brother! If it sims, they probably do. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anyway. sure the hood goes over a size eight head, eight or eight and quarter either. There's a lot of. I've brains. never measured it. We'll have to find out. You should measure it. Oh. You could drive boom, a boom. Troy, Toyota, Toyota that, halfway around this head. That dead horse. <laughs> That's Lance Egan right there. Yeah, well, I mean, you usually are bullying everybody. It's your turn to take a little bit. I know, and I'm this. taking a lot. I don't know. I, you're getting I a little agree. testy already. <laughs> I am not. I am not. Oh. Somebody's commenting in drawings Arabic. instead of... Okay. Wow. I don't even know what that I, says. I, yeah, I can't translate it, so... I think yeah. they're saying... The bully broadcast is what they're saying. <laughs> the bully broadcast. Yeah, they're, making, they're bullying me. For once. It's not okay. Um, what else is new as far as gear goes? Probably our biggest piece of gear that's new is a new boat we picked up yes or oh, day before yeah. yesterday. It's the new ish uh, Hyde Pro XL High Low. Well, it's a combo high. It's a, high, it's a hybrid between the high regular side and low side. Yeah, so Drift it looks boat. like a high side with. Uh, like scalloped melted sides <laughs> <laughs> yeah. starts high low little higher low little higher 
So it's the same exact boat that we've had for about four years, except for a few design changes. We we did a new color, so we will reveal that on YouTube. On YouTube, Brig. When do you think? Next couple days. Next couple, Next days. couple days. So Next we're in mid-April right now. So <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, that we're we're super stoked on our uh, on the boat um, from Hyde. They they make a quality oh, man just comfy quality right? ships very yeah. modular yeah lance you've got which one do you have you have the i have the low, low profile pro series nice it's an awesome fun little boat to row yeah yep so there you go good boats floatants do we have any new uh, split shots or indicators <laughs> we added the cnf power dry not real recently but maybe a month or two ago yeah good that's for newish CNC. i used it today and it's great. What's that? What? What are you? Oh, we. We already we talked, talked about, about that. Um, well, probably while you're chatting with babes online or Brigham something. Brigham just just told us to talk about the CNF headset head cement. <laughs> yeah, he did literally that just we spent like two minutes ago. Brigham. <laughs> Can everybody comment <laughs> what his written warning should say? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna write them up, and you guys get to come up with the wording. Just so, just comment. Uh, the offense is not listening when he's supposed to be listening. Trying to help out here. Yeah, goodness, <laughs> Brig, gracious. you should be fighting back. Did you notice just a minute ago he wasn't listening either? Yeah, cause I always do that though. Everybody expects me to do that. All right. So also in the comments, please tell us what we should be writing Cheech up for. What well, they do that all the time for no, bullying. No. Apparently, bullying. That's one thing for sure. Let's see. Um, old news. It came out not even six months ago. Which one are we talking about? The, uh, the boat? The Galvin? All I know is it says... I don't know what they're talking about there. Yeah, neither do I. Um, but what other new stuff do we have? Uh, this is why we need to make a list on the whiteboard. Well, we, we had a good product mix here on the counter. We did. On the table. I don't know why these uh, fish hunter ring neck rump patches are here, but they're they're cool. Yeah, those <laughs> they are really cool. We were tying we flies. While, no, nice. we <laughs> we showed them off on an Instagram live stream. I think a lot of people sleep on those for especially for still water flies. <laughs> right. Um, we had a question on the new flyweight waders. Have we tried them, um, Lance? Did you try them on? I tried them on. Yeah, he has not them. fished in them, but. Um. Yep, yeah, I've not. I don't. None of us have fished in them that I know of. Yeah. So anyway, is the rooster hat for sale? Do you got? You want to explain why I have the the rooster hat? Maybe in case Gibson? you guys haven't been paying attention. Yeah. So tell them what. So happened. there's there's these this hat problem that we have in this building. We Which have is to, what? Which is what? Brig, do you have a measuring tape so I could check this head size? You don't measure a hat with <laughs> with a tape. We but don't. Anyway. We don't need the measuring tape. Uh, Cheech has a large head, so none of the hats fit him. No. Green Drake Outdoors, as cool as this Green Drake that. Outdoors hat is. Look at that Thank hat. you, Dustin. Let me borrow your hat for a second. As cool break. as the Scientific Angler's hat is that I got the other day, is the, the regular hats. Hold on. Okay. You know, this, is a, this is a Howler collab with okay. uh, Green Drake Outdoors. That you Curtis, can't get, walk so them through don't what's ask. going on here so that the people on the audio okay, so know Okay, so Cheech is going to attempt to put a normal size cap upon his melon and i'm gonna max it out to the last <laughs> you, two. you never you never use a hat with one he never thing goes snapped. all the way to the the biggest just the last two okay so his it's now on his head and and if he had as stylish of a haircut as i have he could probably fit in that hat yeah that or maybe I should cut my hair. I think this is the longest my hair's ever been. Nah, you should keep it. <laughs> but the real deal oh, wait, about the what hat if I wore is, it like this? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Just right on the uh, edge of your eyebrows. Like Use your eyebrows to prop it up. 1990s farmer. Football Grandpa. coach. Then, or, see, if you wore yeah. it like that, people would expect you to say major. We was out to the field. We was a majoring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we went up to Maddie's and we lived it out half now. Then we went over to the tater field. We had to plant a few taters up there. <laughs> he didn't even work no. on it. All right. Anyway, that's why. That's why his, the chicken hat exists. He makes his own. Because I had to order Sputnik extra so, large hats. Look, I am only on two pegs over. If you want that hat, Boom. you basically order a blank. 
And then you find a patch of a chicken and you glue it on there. It's that simple. <laughs> it's the same way he got his pro hat. Do you think anybody really gave him a hat that says pro? No, he made it himself. I made it myself. <laughs> I'm going to own it. The hat, I don't care. The hat place did. I, apparently, you can, if you want to be a pro, you just put it on your Instagram profile and everyone thinks you're a pro. So why not make <laughs> a hat? That? that is pretty easy. It's an, yeah. And it's official because it's on Instagram. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, if you're a pro and you want a pro hat, just make it yourself. I like it. Not that hard. <laughs> no, I think your, your hats are solid. Yeah and, yeah. and because you have a size eight and a quarter slash eight hat. He'll you know, be crying himself you, to sleep on his gotta, giant you gotta pillar. You've got to make them yourself. It's the way to do it. Goodness gracious. <laughs> on his huge pillar. He I, bunts new. I, you guys all know that I'm crafty, right? <laughs> One time I didn't have a lot of money for, at Christmas time, and I made Maria jewelry. Like earrings and crap. Wait, no, not earrings. She doesn't even have her ears pierced. It was it was necklaces. <laughs> and her last name is Pierce. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. Boom, bad Boom, joke. Roasted. I hope she's not listening right now. She'll kill me. Oh, you see that? Pros drink Dr Pepper, not A and W zero sugar that still boosts your insulin levels. Oh yeah, oh. Dr Lance. Yep. <laughs> Brig likes Dr Pepper. That faint clapping Brig, you hear. Is Brig good. likes Dr Pepper. He's rallying for. <laughs> DP. Dude, I, I played a joke on Brig, and I brought back uh, Dr. Thunder from the store one time. I think I saw real Dr. tears. Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing I said to him before he left was get Dr. Pepper. It's like the, you got you Dr. Dr. the Shasta. <laughs> Dr. Thunder, the knockoff brand. He tells me to go to the seat, and then he got me the Dr. Pepper mini. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good... Brig, oh, Brig uh, I'm trying not to bully you as much. I'm trying to spread it out on Ty and Lance. <laughs> Those are my targets right Can now. Can we so. talk about products being out of hey, stock? Hey, that's, that's a good thing. We're almost done here anyway. But, um, yeah, so there's a couple things going on with products right now. Um, with the, uh, the big virus pandemic, we're uh, seeing some shipping delays. Uh from what I understand, there it's kind of been piling up over the course of when China and different places were shut down, both uh, end products and raw materials, so it was tougher to get them. And then now I guess they're back to work and producing, but the shipments are limited on like the volume of shipments that really anything, it's not just fly fishing, can get. Couple that with the fact that while you may not be able to go to a indoor basketball game or concert or movie or wherever you may live what the restrictions are you can however for the most part go fishing so there's been a little bit of a bump on uh, interest and in, uh, people getting into the sport re re-engaging with the sport so um, I'd say there's a, a bit of a higher demand on products acro across the board which is a good thing for the sport maybe a little bit busier on your local body of water but you know that's kind of how it goes uh so yeah w from what we've seen uh you know it runs the gamut on um, fly tying materials all the way up to fishing and and gear and that sort of thing um they expect that to kind of go through the rest of the year to have some slowdowns on what you can get and when you can get it um what we've tried to do to mitigate that is uh, we have a lot of different brands. So if you're in the market for a five weight rod and you may not care if it's a Sage X or a Centric or an Asquith, let's say, uh, you know, there's a good chance we can get one of those. Those are all too expensive. Can you please rephrase that with cheaper brands? The Shakespeare so ugly stick. Hurt my yeah, you can get the Sonic, <laughs> the IMX Pro, the Scott Flex, or the Recon. Recon. Still too one. expensive. Try again. <laughs> Let's go with the Clearwater. The Clearwater. The Lift. The, lift, the lift Echo. Carbon XL. Lift, yep. Carbon XL. Yep. Carbon XL. Boom. They're all just fly poles, people. Yep. They're all just fly poles. All They're right. Fly poling. Anyway, but yeah, Curtis uh, said this the long way. It's harder to get stuff. <laughs> yeah, so. we don't want to encourage hoarding, but if you've been thinking about getting something, you, you should probably uh, act quickly if it's available because a lot of stuff will not be and has not been and even into fly tying stuff like hooks and beads and everything's in shortage so yeah if you know you have a whole bunch of flies you want to tie over the summer you you probably ought to uh, order stuff up and we order stuff 
like every week so it's not like we're we're, we're, we're not only just a few months out we, sitting around yeah only only brigham spends time on online with babes we're actually doing work <laughs> oh yeah i don't know if that's true it's not true brigham's happily married I don't know if that's time true. Babes, but <laughs> anyway chance would kill me for saying that yeah. well guess what we're coming up on our hard limit of time hard actually stop. there's no hard stop but we are going to do a hard stop um actually and in, in, as we end and after the video is over leave comments on what other podcast subjects and topics and people you may want to hear about Maybe we should have from? Brigham and Kilo and <coughs> all the other guys do a podcast once. They should to kind of get some comeuppance. Call it the JV squad. Just the Cheech oh, roast. Right. <laughs> it would be, yeah. it would be yeah, it a would be fiery, fiery roast. That would be a fun oh. one to listen to. Yeah, I would totally listen to it. So. <laughs> anyway. Oh, well, hey, we appreciate everybody. Um, if you're listening to us on the podcast platforms, head on over to the old YouTube and check out our other videos and catch us on our website. Hold on real quick. Someone says, Cheech's hat. Do you have them in stock? Lance, Again. can you explain no, why we, not, don't? we can't do <laughs> for the 10th yeah, time? We okay. don't have yeah. Cheech's hat in stock. Okay. You have yeah. to make it We yourself. are working on a series of hats that maybe they're not going to be that big. The Critter Series. But they're going to be the Critter Series hats. Everybody yeah. will like them. So Yeah, I'm designing myself, and they're only going to be for big Fathead people. All right. <laughs> okay, everybody. All we right. are out. Peace out. Adios. I got booed. <laughs>